will come back to lecture 52 segment 2 where we still in the tutorial solving example 8 9 C to understand more about ignition and extinction okay so you are already familiar with example 8 9 C this is similar to example 8 9 except that we had made some changes and anyway we have a CSTR with a cooling coil and multiple steady states okay we solved three requirements before now this is the requirement number four what does it say it says if the CSTR is operated at the upper steady state so if the CSTR was operated at the upper steady state so if we were operating here determine the feed extinction temperature T naught extinction below which the temperature and conversion will drop from higher to lower values also calculate these conversions okay before and after okay so basically if you are operating at the upper steady state what are you afraid of are you afraid of dropping to the lower steady state or you are afraid of going to an another upper higher upper steady state well obviously if you are already in the upper steady state your fear is that you drop to a lower steady state right to the lower steady state and therefore you are afraid of extinction you are afraid of extinction you're afraid that extinction could happen okay and in order for extinction to happen something could go wrong okay where you are operating at upper steady state temperatures somewhere so basically you're operating here okay you're operating here and something happens to the temperature okay where it drops from this range to this range okay where extinction happens okay what could bring this temperature down well it could be many things we could blame many things one of the things is that the feed temperature could go down if the feed temperature goes down then the temperature inside the reactor would go down as well however there is a limit that this will happen gradually it will happen to a certain limit then it will suddenly drop the temperature inside the reactor will suddenly drop to the lower steady state okay so that's what we're trying to find okay we're trying to find where extinction happens and to see how the feed temperature could cause this okay so let's go back to the gt and rt terms of course the gt term is not function of the feed temperature right remember the gt gt equals x which is calculated from material balance times minus delta h reaction so if you can see the gt curve is not function of the feed temperature however rt is right remember for the rt we wrote an equation for rt where it was cp naught correct times t minus t naught minus u a divided by f a naught multiply by t a minus t okay let's look at rt so rt obviously is function of feed temperature if we the feed temperature changes rt would change okay just to show you that rt is a straight line equation let me do some manipulation okay so let me call this guy beta so therefore i can 
right r t equals c p naught times t minus c p naught times t naught minus alpha times t a plus sorry beta times t a plus beta times t okay and now we can rewrite rt as after manipulation okay so we can take let me show you here we can take this is t here this is t here and this is t here so if you take t as a common factor then you'll have you'll have cp naught Oops, this is a different color, sorry. Let me go back to this color. So you have CP naught plus beta multiplied by T. Okay, and then you have minus. Okay, now what? Now we can take the rest as a in a bracket. So basically that is CP naught times T naught plus beta times Ta. Okay, now you can see again that RT is a straight line equation, right? Where you have this is RT is a function of t to the power one. So, and then this is the slope, and this is the intercept. Okay, and let's see if we change if we change T naught or if T naught changes, would that affect the slope? Well, obviously not because CP naught is not a function of T naught and nor beta is. Beta is u times a divided by f a naught. So the slope will not change. So what will change? The intercept will change. You can see here the T naught. That means what? That means the new RT line, if I change, if I change T naught, RT line will change as well. And the new RT line okay will be parallel to the original RT line okay and since I'm studying extinction phenomena extinction phenomena so the tangent will be from the upper left side let's see that there we go you see this is the line that I plotted here Okay, so the line that I plotted here. Okay, now it is parallel to RT and tangent to GT. It's tangent to GT. Okay, and this is where extinction could happen because any further decrease in T naught. Okay, any further decrease in T naught. This line will go this way and you will lose the steady state from here and it will jump to the lower steady state and this is where extinction happen okay that's great so let's find t naught extinction okay and again we said t naught t naught was 52.5 degree fahrenheit so what if what if T naught started decreasing and decreasing until it reaches to a point that if it decreases more, you will lose the upper steady state and you will jump to the lower steady state. Okay, so now we have our new RT line. That is our new RT line, as you can see. Okay, this guy. Okay, so how can we use this? Well, simply, now this is our new RT line, and we want to find in this line what is the value of T naught? What is the value of T naught? What is the value of T naught extension? Below which I'll lose the upper steady state and jump to the lower steady state. So, in order to solve and find the value of T naught extension, simply I can use any point in the line can use any point in the line and solve for t naught okay that's the easiest one is to 
find this line I would say okay let's this point let's use this point here okay this point okay and then use this to calculate the extinction temperature okay let's write the equation for RT let's write the equation for RT okay the equation for RT again was equals CP naught plus beta times T minus oops minus CP naught times T naught plus beta times T A. Okay and let's take any point on this new on this new RT which will enable me to evaluate the extinction phenomena okay and we say we're gonna take this point and at this point as you can see RT is zero right RT is zero okay excellent that's very good and when RT is zero now we want to find what's the value of T naught so let's write the equation there okay so when RT equals to zero okay and uh, let's see you have the value of cp naught plus beta naught yes we do we have that value okay if you calculate you'll find that this value is around 300 oops where did it go it's around oops okay it's around 320 8.35 okay multiply by t when rt is 0 what's the value of t of course this t we call it t critical remember we call it this t critical and when you read this value okay and you can see that it's around 505 so there we go 505 this is the value of t this is the value of T when RT is zero for which line for that extinction line that we just plotted. Okay, right. Let's continue. Minus, minus. Okay. What's the value of CP naught? It's 235.4. And what's the value of T naught? Well, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. What's the value of T naught when we have extinction? Okay, plus plus beta, which is 92.94, and multiply by T naught. What was the value of T naught? Well, the value of T naught was 510. Okay, so now we have an equation where the only unknown is the only unknown is T naught. And this is the T naught extinction. Okay, so therefore T naught extinction equals five o two degree Rankin, which is around 42.5 Fahrenheit okay that's 42.5 Fahrenheit okay so what does that mean remember Shabab what was the original value for T naught well the original value of T naught was 52.5 52.5 52 okay and and now that t extinction t naught extinction is 42.5 so that's a difference of 10 degree let me write for you the original t naught the original t naught was 52.5 fahrenheit okay 52.5 fahrenheit so if if we have a winter now and we're taking the water the uh, sorry yeah we're feeding the feed 
at 52.5 okay we're feeding the feed at 52.5 and basically because it's winter somehow the feed temperature start dropping so if the feed temperature start dropping of course the steady state temperature inside the reactor will drop as well okay it will start dropping as well so what should be worried about we should be worried that we will lose the upper steady state and will drop and will extinct down to the lower steady state okay so what happens if t naught reduced to 50 degree fahrenheit well that will not affect much because still i'll be at the upper steady state but the problem is if the feed temperature drop below 42.5 then i'll drop i'll drop from the upper steady state to the lower steady state okay and therefore this is the t naught extension and this is the guy who i should be aware of okay time i hope this explanation was really helpful for you to understand more about the extinction and ignition temperature. We'll stop here and continue in segment three.